things in the name of God. Why do we allow this vicious cycle of irritation of one people claiming to be victims when they are really the aggressors, when they are really the people offending others? Let us allow them go. National Assembly, let us vote. Let them go so that we, the, the voting, there will be more resources. Let my people for go. For other people to manage. Are you not listening? If they want, if, if we listening? don't even need a referendum, the president should meet, the National Assembly should meet, somebody courageous enough to sponsor a bill at the National Assembly. There should be a constitutional, uh, a constitutional amendment. The five Igbo state and any group of people who want to join them, let them join the let them join the Igbos and go. Let the Igbos go. Now you understand. Let the Igbos go. But he don't know anything. No be mad. I don't start that way. Now so me I they start my own. <laughs> An idiot for that matter. He just talking. Anybody who wants to join them, join them. I started the man, I don't rubbish. There is nothing I'll do with evil people. So all these things, uh, releasing up the kind of killing the boy. No, when the evils go, they can have him. They can manage him. They can make him uh, their Messiah, their Savior, their everything. There is no problem. But let them I go. I will tell you people the reason why he's saying this. There is a reason. Let the evils go. There is a reason. Let him go. We have a lot to no, gain if we get these people, give them what they are demanding for. We have a lot to gain. Let them go. Let them go and turn their country into El Dorado, into heaven on earth. Let the Hebrews go. Hasari Dokuba, why are you Let crying? Please, National Assembly, about, yeah, for, President Ambe Polatimu, I am begging you, let us allow the Igbos go. We have a divine, a, a divine uh, border, a divine space, the five states. If other people say they are Igbo people, they want to join them, oh yeah, join, let them go. Are you going to speak for your people? Are you speaking for Calvary? Let the Igbos go. Let the Igbos go. So that we too will rest. They too will rest. Then we will see. We will see. They will, they should, we should not. They should be barred from coming into our country. They should stay in their country. Now you see whether any of us will go to their country. You see whether any of us go to their country. Whatever product they have, if they want to fly it, they should fly it anywhere. Okay. We allow them fly. But I know that they will not pass the job territory to pass that. We will not allow them. Are you speaking for your people? Are we will not, not allow them people? pass the job territory to go and I will tell export you the their distance. So any other people who will allow them anything, who airspace they want to use, they can use. But I know at least they will pass through Kal Kalabar occupies the widest uh, coastal line in Nigeria. The widest coastal line in Nigeria. From Santa Barbara to New Calabar River. Are you trying Let to go people now? Are the same Please. If you do this, President Ahmed Bolatinibu, you would have done the greatest thing to the whole of the black race. You would have cleansed Nigerians of all the debt that you both have brought on us in South Africa, everywhere, in Thailand, in Malaysia, in Indonesia, in the Philippines, everywhere. You would have done a lot for us. Your name will go into the annals of history as one of the greatest persons in the history of this world. 
and this national assembly will, will go down as one of the greatest national assembly in this world. Let the Igbos go. Not let the Igbos go. Let the Biafrans go. Asari Dokubo, you can't speak for people. No gun. For yourself. No shooting. No killing. No nothing. Let them go. I will, I will All tell you of the them. reason why he's lamenting. Whether it is sympathetic because they don't talk. Whether it is sympathetic people or uh, moderate people. All of them. Their country. Whether they want to take the journey in Biafra itself. We touch them. Let them take them. <laughs> if some people don't touch on the name Biafra, we don't touch on the name Biafra. Take her. Make her go. Make on a go. Let the Igbos go. All the pipelines from Igbo land, their small uh, cup of oil that they produce, the pipeline, we cut it off. Give them their own. No problem. Oh, oh, so you know there is a pipeline. We give them their own. <laughs> are, them you, are you people listening? Are you people Ibos. listening to this uh, told in the creek? No problem. Now you understand. There will be no way uh, Alaba market, uh, Ladipa market, uh, computer market. No. All those things will no longer be there. Let the evils go. Let the evils go. Let Please, the President Ahmed Bolatinibu, I am going to write, I am going to collect signatories of over one million people all over nigeria okay okay, okay. we are going to send it to okay. the national assembly we will march to the national assembly demand that the national assembly should allow the Igbos go what is it right here now no i want to go all of a sudden i say make on i go say na hatred what is that threat? You want to go? Let the Igbos go. <laughs> I will collect I one million. Mark this thing. I will collect one million signatures. One million signatures. One million signatures. I will march to the National Assembly. I too big for Igbo people. Okay. I too big for Nanyema. I too big for now. Who are not be? All right. Let Igbos go. All right, wonderful people. All right, wonderful people. I hope every one of you understand uh, what Asari de Kubo said with his mouth. Asari de Kubo said, let the Igbos go. But there's something Asari Dokubo don't understand. Of course, he do understand Bole, he just uh, chasing shadow. I want him to understand this. And I'm going to shock every one of you. The reason why Asari Dokubo were saying now, let the Igbos go. But I want him to understand this. Asari Dokubo, you can never speak for Ijo people. You cannot. You can never speak for Ijo people. Asari Dokubo, you can never speak for Karabari people. Asari Dokubo, I want you to understand this, that you are just an individual. One man, one vote. And I want you people to also understand, if you people haven't forgotten, the same this toad in the creek, this bloated pig, said before, he told Dezani that Nigeria is not for you. He told Charlie Boy that Nigeria is not for you. He also tell himself that Nigeria is not for him. That Biafra is the last hope. This is the same man that I speak to. You know, I want you people to just understand what is playing. Money have exchanged hands and his back is on the ground. You know, these people don't have wars of their own. Any place that their belly face is where they are going to. Like I said, I will shock every one of you. The reason why this toad, a bloated pig, saying all this nonsense from his mouth. We are talking about Biafra. If you don't know Asari Dokubo, I want to remind you. 
you don't have to dash us uh, Biafra, you say you joy, you say Biafra, you are dashing us. No, you don't have to. When Odume Gojuku and the second in, his second in command, Philip Effion, have put head together to be able to discuss and bring out name Biafra, you were not there. So you can't come out now and begin to tell us what to do. We are talking about Biafra. We are not talking about Igbo Nation. If we are talking about Igbo Nation, we could have gone during the time of this dead Bugari. We could have gone. We could have taken this five, but we are not talking about five states. You see, it's going to be abomination. Let me introduce myself before I will go further. The reason why this bloated pig is talking all this rubbish from his mouth. All right, wonderful people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Masin Nandi Okuchukwano. Here I am, I always set the record straight, regardless of your position, your world, your qualification. Who cares? We are here to set the record straight. Now you understand. My name is Mazo Kenna Okechukun, known as the Biafran Child Wanshineke. The General, make sure that this video gets to Asari Dokobo. We are talking about referendum. We are talking about the freedom of people. We are not talking about somebody who just come out and begin to yap and talk all sort of rubbish, inconsequential, bloated pig, charlatan for that matter, talking about nonsense, telling the Igbo to go. Who is him to tell the Igbo go? So he don't know about it before? We are going to take referendum to every be a bite of Biafra. Are you are you are you are you, are, are you listening to what every bite of Biafra are going to vote if they want or not? It's not something that you are going to you know force on people, and you are not going to be there as an individual now begin to speak for people. No, you can't speak for people, you allow people to speak for themselves. That is why we are talking about referendum. Now you understand Asari Dokubo. The reason why Asari Dokubo is crying out. Because Asari Dokubo took people from coastal region of Biafra land and all of them are uh, all of them did not come back. Now he turned it around saying that these people are doing this. Ask Asari Dokubo the reason. The reason is the people that he took because he was Asari Dokubo is an agent. He signed that contract to to to, to export. Or to import to, to export people from the coastal region of Biafra land to hinterland to go there and use their brother and begin to buy also their brother, but it did not work for them. All of them they did not come back, they did not go back with Asari Dokubo. Now he understands that uh, these people are uh, he, he don't he don't he don't even believe it. Now he's crying out after he have uh, I thought that you say that you are you are you are you, you, you are coming. You are going to finish them as you finish ESL. Now you are telling them to go. Asari Dokubo, we are taking 13 states from Biafra land. We are 13 states. You can leave Ijo land. You can leave Calabari and go to Daura and leave. So all these things you are just yapping, shouting, uh, you know, breathing like a, a razor that fall from a, 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 a um, OG3. That one is your own problem. Who cares what you talk? You can say whatever you want to say. Now you, because you say that they, you, we are, you are going to kill the whole Igbos. Now people are talking about it. Now you want to turn around and say that Igbos should go. No, Asari Dokubo, we know that you want to kill the whole Igbos. According to you. But we know that you are just blabbing. Nothing. You are just empty can. That is why we call you a bloated pig. The reason why Asari Dokubo is telling the Igbo to go because those that he carried down to hinterland, nobody come back with him. Ask him, he will tell you. Ask Asari Dokubo, those, our brothers from Calabari that he took from Calabari land, from Ejo, down to hinterland. Ask Asari Dokubo where they are. Now he's crying. We told him you will go, but you are not going to return. The same thing, he knows that the people are gone. Now you understand it. Ask him if he's lying, I will come back and prove it beyond reasonable doubt. This is what I have for you people today. Now you understand it. Make sure that this video gets to this bloated pig. That is your land is a Biafra. Karabari is a Biafra. Isoko is a Biafra. Anam is a Biafra. Ewante is a Biafra. Cross River is a Biafra. Ahaba is a Biafra. Go and tell him. 
so he will know because all this thing that he's talking he just uh, empty empty mouth talking all sort of rubbish he think that we come here to care now you understand send it to him